Well, some of the most talented swimmers and divers have made a stop in Knoxville on their way to the Olympic Games over the years. The pools at the Tennessee Aquatic Center certainly help athletes of all ages make a splash. And our live anchor Katie Inman is poolside today with how a regional meet this weekend is the perfect mix of competition and chlorine. Hi, Katie. Yeah, the chlorine is a high here. No, I'm just kidding. We are poolside, like you said, here at the Tennessee Aquatics Center. We have been loving watching these young divers this whole hour as they prepare for the competition this weekend. I'm here with Nick Rusick. He is the head diving coach for Tennessee Aquatics. And Nick, this weekend is a lot of fun. Yeah, a lot of fun. We got all the USA divers from our region, so Indiana, Ohio, um, Tennessee, and Kentucky. And yeah, we're ready for a great weekend of competition. And hey, these kids are anywhere from 9 to 18. And if people want to come watch, what do they need to do? Just show up. There's no entry fee. Um, you, get, you get to watch some awesome competition, 16, 18, 11 unders, everything, everything, uh, everything you need to watch in diving will be here. And this is Saturday and Sunday, so if you need weekend plans, you can do that. And uh, tell me a little bit about, listen, you were here in 2014 for a similar competition. It was a national championship, right? What is it like to be back here now and seeing these kids doing what you once did? It's awesome. It's, uh, it's like you say, uh, a full circle. You know, I was here in 2014 for that national meet. That's how I met Dave Parrington, and that's how I came to the University of Tennessee to dive. Um, and now I'm here coaching it. It's pretty awesome. And yeah, I'm excited to watch some great diving. Yeah, I think that's the definition of full circle moment here. And uh, why is it so important to invest in the younger generation as it relates to diving? Uh, it's very important. These, these athletes are the future athletes um, that are going to be competing for the U.S. Um, may, obviously not this year, but uh, in four years, hopefully, some of these divers will be um, in the spotlight for Team USA. All right, Nick, thank you so much. And as he mentioned, these divers are a little too young to compete in Paris this year. But one day, hey, if you want to watch those Paris Olympics, they're right here on NBC. And right now on our website, we have a story of all the Olympic athletes from East Tennessee as they compete for the gold in Paris. We're bringing you updates along the way to find their stories and to stay up to date with the games. Just scan the QR code right there on your screen. It'll take you to the Olympics page on our website. WBIR.com.